Ever wonder which Earthbender in the Avatar universe is the most powerful? We've got the answer. We're ranking 12 of the best Earthbenders based on their Earthbending skills and abilities. Who's got Avatar level skills? Let's find out. The first Earthbender on our list is none other than... The Boulder! The Boulder is a rough and tough wrestler that is known for taking down his opponents. How about the Boulder? He's got some good moves. I don't know. Boomy said I need a teacher who listens to the Earth. He's just listening to his big muscles. What do you think, Sokka? Ah! Ah! Woo! <laughs> no! No, please! Like him or love him, where does he rank? The boulder's gonna win this in a landslide. Uh, not quite. We're putting the boulder under honorable mention. The boulder takes issue with that comment. Let's move on to our next Earthbender. My name is Iway. Cora, why did you lie when Iway asked if there was anyone else with you? How did you know I was lying? I am a truth seer. When people lie, their heart rate and breathing increase. I can sense the most subtle of changes. Although we don't get to see much of it, Ai Wei is also a skilled earth and metal bender. You have no idea what is coming for you, Avatar. Combat may not have been Ai Wei's strength, but there's no question his unique bending abilities are to be admired. We'll put him under skilled. It's too bad his abilities couldn't save him from the Fog of Lost Souls. I can tell you're lying. The next person is the first Avatar on our list. You ready to give it a try? I'm ready. Rock beats airbender. Aang had a rocky start to earthbending. You've got to stop thinking like an airbender. There's no different angle, no clever solution, no trickity trick that's gonna move Whoa. that rock. You've gotta face it head on. And when I say head on, I mean like this. Whoa. With Top as his teacher, he learned how to master the element. Aang was even able to bend in synchronization with Top to execute some high level moves. So where does he belong on the list? We're going with Very Talented. Look what I can do! The next bender really brings the heat. Like literally, Gazan has the ability to lava bend, a rare form of earth bending that allows him to phase change earth into lava and back. In fact, Gazan was so powerful that a special prison cell had to be designed just to keep him contained. He only needed a few rocks to break out of his cell. But ultimately, it was Gazan's pride, not his lack of skills, that took him down. If I'm going down today, you're coming with me! Now those are some rock-solid skills. Next on our list is... I'm the Avatar! You gotta deal with it! From an early age, Korra was already a skilled bender. And as she grew, so did her earthbending abilities. <sighs> Korra was even able to metal bend, the first Avatar to do so. I can't believe it. I'm metal bending. Wow, you picked that up really, really quick. Guess you're that one in a hundred. Great job, Korra. Earth became one of her strongest elements. Korra's powerful bending earns her a rock solid rating. Still think I'm a half baked avatar? Next up, Bolin. His earth bending skills are no joke. He became even more powerful once he unlocked the rare ability to lava bend. You're a lava bender. I know. I just found out. 
After discovering his new ability, it became a staple in his combat arsenal. I was just remembering the last time we fought. Well, a lot has changed since then. Not to mention, he's got killer aim. With these skills, Bolin earns a rock solid. Bolin's got some moves, huh? Allow me to introduce the matriarch of the Metal Clan, Su Yin. Please call me Su. Next up is Toph's youngest daughter, Su Beifong. <sighs> Earthbender, Metalbender, and... Dancer, leader, wife, mother, collector of rare meteorites. She's not only a talented metalbender, but also is a highly skilled earthbender. She held her own against Kuvira. <laughs> She also saved Korra when she was poisoned. Not to mention, she founded the Metal City of Zalfu. This deserves the title of Boss Level. Our next vendor is Suyin's sister, Lin Beifong. Much like her sister, she is a highly skilled earth vendor and metal vendor. I want to talk to whoever's in charge. You're talking to her. I'm Chief Beifong. As the police chief of Republic City's metal bending police force, Lin's bending skills certainly come in handy. From her cable wire skills to her seismic sense, she's always ready for action. When she went toe to toe with her sister, she held her own, despite being under the weather. Just like her sister, Lin is a boss. Your fly was down. Thanks for catching that. Our next vendor went from being captain of the guard in Zalfu to the great uniter of the Earth Kingdom. All hail the great uniter! Kuvira is an experienced earth vendor capable of bending large amounts of earth, but also a metal bending marvel. She can bend multiple pieces of metal at the same time and shape metal into any shape she desires. She can even detect when others are metal bending near her. I can feel someone metal bending inside the arm. And she single handedly took down the avatar. Her ruthlessness makes her lethal. We definitely wouldn't want to be on her bad side. I knew you were weak. Our next bender is King Boomy. Yeah, he may be a little zany, but his skills are nothing to laugh at. King Boomy is a respected member of the White Lotus and a powerful earthbending master. He single-handedly took back Omashu from the Fire Nation. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> Taking back my city. You've got no firepower, and it's payback time. He can literally move buildings, manipulate dirt into quicksand, create fissures in the earth, and bend genomite. Plus, he helped liberate Bossing Se. We can't even fathom how powerful Boomy was in his prime. <laughs> Boomy's skills earns him the title of Master. Boomy, you're a mad genius. Next up, we have the one, the only, Toph Beifong. I am the greatest earthbender in the world. Toph learned earthbending from the originators of the art, the badger moles. I was able to learn earthbending, not just as a martial art, but as an extension of my senses. 
She's also able to utilize her seismic sense to see the world around her by interpreting the vibrations of the Earth. She later taught this skill to her daughters and Aang. Toph could also sand bend. She trained not one, but two avatars. I never realized how much I missed tormenting the avatar. Oh, and? Come on, metal fudge. She invented a whole new type of bending Woo! and taught it to a generation of benders. I mean, you don't get statues erected in your honor for being a subpar bender. That statue honors the first metal bender, Toph Beifong, who expanded the possibilities of what benders were capable of. Cue the Earthbending Master montage. speaks for itself. We're giving Toph the title of Master. We know what you're thinking. She's the greatest earthbender I've ever seen. But believe it or not, there's another earthbender that's got her beat. Avatar Kiyoshi. Kiyoshi undeniably has avatar level skills. On that day, we split from the mainland. Kiyoshi literally split an entire landmass to create Kiyoshi Island. I created Kiyoshi Island so my people could be safe from invaders. Kiyoshi also has the ability to lava bend. In the Avatar Kiyoshi novel, The Rise of Kiyoshi, we learn even more about her. In her youth, she struggled to earthbend, but once she trained with the Flying Opera Company, her skills leveled up. She learned their technique called dust stepping. She had the ability to walk on floating clusters of dust, like steps that disintegrated after they'd been stepped on. To anyone watching, it's as if she was floating on air. Kiyoshi was incredibly powerful. She also used her earth bending to lift an entire stone tea shop from the ground and dig a 50-foot deep moat to protect Governor Tay. She could even manipulate glass with earth bending. Yeah, I said it, glass. A passage from The Shadow of Kiyoshi reads, the shards of glass in her skin plucked themselves out under the force of her earthbending. And that's why we're ranking Kiyoshi at the top of our list. Do you agree with our ranking? Let us know in the comments and subscribe for more Avatar content.